Well, good morning, traders, and welcome to this week's live trading session with me, your host for today, François Duplessis. I am one of the market analysts here at HFM, and I'm going to take you through this session where we are going to have a look at some key events that are taking place this week and how this can shape our trades as well as maybe even look at some trading opportunities for today. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the markets as we get started here today. Let's kick things off by having a look at our economic calendar for the week. Now, traders are anxiously awaiting Friday's non-farm payroll report, so that is NFP, which could offer additional cues about how the Federal Reserve will handle rate cuts going forward. Now, economists are expecting the U.S. economy to add 145,000 new jobs in October. So looking at this report, weak data could reignite recession fears within the USA, while stronger numbers might lower expectations for deeper rate cuts as inflation concerns still persists. If you would like to trade this specific fundamental event live with me personally, I will be doing this live on all the social media platforms for HFM with all HFM clients on Friday as and when this report will be released. Looking further as well during this week, Federal Chair Jerome Powell will speak at the National Association for Business Economics later today. And it is expected that Powell will echo his recent comments about inflation, progress, and downside risk to the labor market. Additional insights will also be provided by other Fed members, including Bowman, Bosnick, Barkin, and Williams, who are all expected to speak throughout this week. Additionally, tomorrow, Tuesday, the 1st of October, the Eurozone will release its flash inflation data for September. Inflation is expected to drop to 2%, which will be in line with the European Central Bank's target for the first time since June 2021. Traders are now pricing in a 50% chance for an October rate cut from the ECB as Eurozone business activity continues to contract. This, however, is not all. We will also receive additional CPI releases from of Germany later today. We are also going to see the release of some PMI data from the US later tomorrow. On Wednesday, we will see some ADP non-farm payroll data being released. So that is all new jobs created within the private sector. And then last but not least, on Thursday, there will also be additional PMI data that is being released. So traders, that basically just means that this week we have an absolutely jam-packed week filled with economic events, which means it is filled with trading opportunities. Let's move over now to have a look at how all these various trading opportunities could affect the different markets and kicking things off with euro usd so if you can have a look here at the moment euro usd has been trading in a relatively tight range for the last while and is currently sitting just above that support level which is at 1.116 now if the support breaks and we can also break this trend line from below which would mean we would see a break and a close, preferably around that 1.114 level, we could see a potential retest of these lower support levels at 1.11 flat. Alternatively, if we do break above this 1.12 level and we can get a nice decent close above that, we could see some much larger pushes higher, maybe even all the way up to that 1.127 region moving over to gold gold is currently trading just below that 161.8 fibonacci extension level and has now officially started to find some 
resistance now on this one we could potentially see a pullback back down to our trend line here at the bottom which is around that 2634 level and then additional bullish momentum might kick in again to go back up and retest this 161.8 fibonacci extension level once more if this however this 2634 level gets broken we could see a potential retest down here at 2595 now if that 161.8 fibonacci level gets broken gold is kind of unbound from there on forward and we could see potential pushes all the way up to 2800 last but not least having a look here at nasdaq now if we have a look here on the four hour time frame you can see on the stochastics that nasdaq is currently just above that oversold level and our emas are nicely bullish that means if we can actually break resistance and that would be we would need a break above 20,225 that could reignite some additional bullish momentum within nasdaq pushing it all the way up to that 20,870 level now i want to wrap things up here today by finishing with a pair that i don't look at often but just wanting to add some additional information on this one which is us crude oil also known as wti now looking at these oil prices settled higher on friday but we're down for the week now if you have a look brent and crude futures fell by three percent and five percent respectively as traders balance higher demand expectations with china's fresh stimulus aimed at boosting its economy as well as heightened tensions within the middle east which are now on the other side raising risk for potential supply disruptions additionally energy traders will also be closely monitoring friday's nfp report as this specific report affects absolutely everything within the market as rate cuts could spur economic activity and fuel demand having a look at this specific asset class or instrument for the day we have broken through that resistance now here at the moment so a slight pullback and a dip back to that 68.9 that would be an absolutely perfect in my opinion entry point for a nice buy all the way up to this 69.9 resistance level now if we do break back below the resistance you can see there is a bit of a trend here as well so i would wait for a dip below that resistance and that would be at least below 68.5 before we can look for some selling positions back down to this 67.1 region but as long as we are staying above this well now newfound support as that resistance was literally now broken uh, I'm going to start looking for some entry positions all the way back up to that 69.9, maybe even that 70 flat region. And then traders, that is it from me for today. Thank you so very much for joining me for this live trading session. I do hope that the information that I shared with you during the session is going to assist you going into this week. Looking forward to seeing you in my next one. And as always, happy trading.